1989, uh, the uh, diplomatic counselor of Mikhail Gorbachev, uh, Alexander Arbatov, um, uh, said something very interesting to the West. He said, uh, we're, we're dealing with the worst blow. We're going to deprive you from your enemy. In the 90s, we had no enemy at all, right? We had to find new enemies. It was Saddam Hussein, Ben Laden, it would eventually be Daesh, whoever. And I think with many respects, the new enemy today is also the migrant. Migrant is always associated with crisis, problem, drug trafficking, terrorism, whatever. And uh, my industry has been very helpful in actually creating that situation and creating a problem and certainly also reshaping an enemy. You switch on the TV and it's all about migration. You receive tons of information on migration all the time. We feel we are overwhelmed and very well informed. My feeling is that we are completely under-informed. We just don't know. We don't know the real figures. We don't know the real figures. Nobody knows about the real figures of illegal immigration in Europe. The media use wrong figures. By quoting each other again, it participates of a quotation chain where everyone thinks that the figure is true because the neighbor, the colleague of the other newspaper, has quoted it. Well, actually, the figures are mostly wrong. The media doesn't really know what are the business interests behind that. They don't know there is, there is a huge industry, which is a defense industry, which is actually rebranding its war technologies uh, to the governments and to have the government buy their war technologies to protect ourselves from, from migrations, for example, at the borders. We are completely under-informed, we as citizens, we as media consumers, of the real trends and the real stakes that are uh, at play uh, around this issue. And I think we need to be very conscious, we journalists, of uh, the role we play here in actually um, uh, uh, participating in this uh, fabrication of an enemy. I spent three months in Africa for Le Monde Diplomatique three years ago, following African migrants on their way from Ivory Coast to a better place where to go. A meilleur, un meilleur ailleurs, as you say in French, a better elsewhere. Actually, they were not going north. They were not going to Sahel and then to the Mediterranean Sea. They were going south. They were going to Angola, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, South Africa. This was a new paradise they were trying to reach. And I happened to figure out that out of 100 migrants from Africa who actually migrate, 95 stay in Africa, three go to the United States, and two go to Europe. Who really knows that? Who really knows that South South migrations are the most important migrations? I've never seen as many people, uh, you know, checking their mobile phone for the next breaking news. I've never seen the media as powerful as today. And paradoxically, my fellow journalists have never been that poor as today. There is no business model here, there is a paradox. The reality is that the journalists don't have the time anymore to check everything. They don't have a single source of information bringing all the facts together on a single website and not, you know, uh, having to look for scattered information everywhere on the web. And so, uh, you know, what you need to do is to try to get away from the superficial news and try to spend more time on the news, which is a more in-depth news, and, uh, and, and obviously to, 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 to find back a taste for long-term in-depth analysis and research, which is honestly something very few media today do.